a little bit about what happened to you when you were growing up. Uh, your parents were in the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. That was kind of like their job. Yeah, it was my mother was a, was in the Black Panther Party. She was like at a high position, which was mm -hmm. like unheard of because, of course, there was sexism even in the Panthers. Mm -hmm. So, and my stepfather at the time, Matu Shakur, he was also like a well-known, like revolutionary. True, all my all of my roots to the struggle are real deep. Mm -hmm. And then my godfather, Geronimo Pratt, you know, he was like had a, a top official rank position with the Panthers on the West Coast. Right, and we just mentioned he's, of course, serving a life sentence right now. Yeah. Your mom was carrying you when she went to jail True the first time. Uh, that's a very interesting story in itself. What happened to her? Why was she in jail? Because, like, you know, there's racism. So when the Panthers hit, the government panicked, and they had a thing called a COINTELPRO, and they felt like the Panthers were detrimental to American society, so they raided every Panther's house, especially the ones who they felt like could do the most damage as an orator. Mm -hmm. So my mother was nine months pregnant, you know, seven months pregnant. They put a match to the door and said, fire, fire. And you know, it's like five in the morning. So my mother opened the door and they just burst in, put a shotgun to her pregnant belly and put a gun to her head and said, don't move. Bye, bye, bye. It's just you're under arrest. What does it do to a young man like yourself though when all of your heroes, your mother, your father, who has passed away, he, had, he was incarcerated as yes, well, uh, your, your godfather, all of your heroes have been to jail. And they weren't all Panthers. My father was a, I mean, my stepfather was a Panther. My father was a gangster, a straight up ignorant, you know, hustler. Mm -hmm. But he made, but he loved the fact that the Panthers, what he told, my mother told me is that it was a one night stand. But he loved the fact that the Panthers would go to jail and wouldn't snitch. Hmm. They were true to each other, you know, as women, it was men. And that was a one night stand. That's how I came to be, you know, mm -hmm. out of the love for black people. So that's how I got to live, and that's how I have to die. And that's how my music has to be, and my acting, and my producing, and my interviews, everything has yeah. to be for the love of black people. I think that my mother, like a lot of people, like a lot of them, like Fred Hampton, Mark Clark, uh, Harriet Tubman, they felt like they were laying tracks for the, the, the generation to come. My, I think my mother knew that freedom wouldn't come in her lifetime, just like I know that it won't come in mine. Hmm. But it's a matter of either we stay like this or somebody sacrifices. All of this is star scars I go to my grave with. I can see These are learned to be a scar. That's Who did that to you? Oakland Police Department, all above my eye, all that. Why? And I pay their salary because I was an outspoken young black man. They were sweating me for jaywalking. You were jaywalking, jaywalking. and they stopped you? And I swear to you, I don't even know what jaywalking is. Didn't until they beat me down for it. They stopped me. They asked me for my ID. My real name is Tupac Shakur. There's nothing fake about me. There's no stage name or stage aura. That's my name, and that's how I said it. My name is Tupac Shakur. Just because my name wasn't John Brown, it irked them. So they started, you know, saying, well, what's your mother name you that for, blah, blah, blah. So I got hot. That, that was beyond the call of duty. So I was like, give me my citation, let me go about my business. And I said the words that NWA made famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm.